Marie Laveau was one of the wisest women that ever lived. She was gifted with a power from on high that very few people are gifted with. She could look at you without ever having seen you before and tell you where you were born, what hour you were born, and the time, and also the condition of the weather if you wanted to know that. She was, in a way, to me, another Solomon, sent from the Almighty God above to come down here and help his people. I also picture her as a John de Baptist who comes to teach right and righteousness. This woman I am telling you about prayed not three times a day as Daniel did, but prayed every hour in the day that our Heavenly Father sent. I picture her as one chosen by God's own hand. She was not selfish, but waited on the black as well as the white, and the rich as well as the poor, doing all the good stuff she could, and never doing any harm to anybody. Old Man George Nelson, 1936 Shut that goddamn door! exclaimed the voodoo queen when the police showed up to rate another of her ceremonies. Marie Laveau didn't have time for the nonsense that was ensuing. She was used to it, sure, and she was not incarcerated herself, but it cost her time and money nonetheless. She advocated for women needing a voice in the courtrooms and saved the condemned from the gallows on more than one occasion. She bailed out folks who needed it and greased the judges, attorneys, and police chiefs to respond in her favor. And if they didn't, she had ways of reminding them it's not a good idea to cross the voodoo queen. A particular segment, however, reveled in harassing the voodoos and enforcing the laws. Voodoo was illegal, after all, and the people either loved, feared, or hated Marie Laveau. Even so, many joined her ritual activities on the down low. They wanted to know her secrets, like how to dance publicly with wild abandon while simultaneously being a devout Catholic. Who was this boss woman of the 1800s? How did she garner so much power? Her influence over the people in the city was undeniable. Marie Laveau was a free Creole woman of color living in 19th century New Orleans who became famous as a voodoo queen. She is known for her entrepreneurial savvy and is credited for making a business out of voodoo and hoodoo. She was known in all sectors of the city, having significant connections in the legal system and the Catholic Church. But voodoo is not the only thing Marie Laveau is known for. She is most loved and remembered by New Orleanians for her charity work, prison ministry, and service to the community. Nonetheless, she was often targeted and harassed by the police. The press covered the raids on the voodoos and their subsequent court appearances with a salacious slant whenever possible. Despite having a target on her back, however, police officers, lawyers, and judges were regular attendees at her annual St. John's Eve dances. <laughs>